Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars. Welcome back to the channel. There's a lot going on today, so uh, hope you guys will enjoy the video. Lots of new things happening. First off, Mikey got a brand new pickup, uh, 2019 6.0 gas. The cat, he's checking it all out. First day out for him in a, about two months here with the extreme cold. And look at what is going on. We have a thaw. The first day that it's uh, above freezing and God, probably three months here. And the old 58 is going away. We're gonna haul it out to the customer tomorrow. Got the title in finally. Got the wheels broke free so it actually rolls now. I know Mortsky loves the, uh, the old hammer and the old sledgehammer and the, uh, the pry bar there. And I get to bust out my brand new tilt bed trailer to do this thing. So yeah, lots of cool stuff going on here. In addition to that, let's go in the shop and see what we got. Come on, kitty. Nope, he's looking for mice. So I've got one four post lift right there. Mikey's uh, setting up the tire machine or helping me set up the tire machine. And we have another four post lift. And finally we have a two post lift. So the plan is to put these three up in probably the next couple weeks here once uh, it warms up enough to keep the doors open and, uh, and get the cars outside. But have the two stackers, one here and one here, and then get two cars up, two cars underneath to free up some space here. And then either put the two post right there or right on the X. Not really sure yet. Um, going to get that figured out though before we, before we do that. And then got a lot of cool stuff planned. Me and Mikey are going to do a lot of cool, uh, cool things here this summer with the, with the lifts and the cars. But uh, first things first, let's get this, let's get this 58 loaded. All right, so got that 58 loaded before we get rolling here today. Uh, here's my airline, it's three quarter inch max line by Rapid Air. And uh, as you can see here, I've got it all plumbed up. Got a connection just for the uh, tire machine. Got it coming off of the uh, compressor there up to a T and then gonna run it, run it across the entirety of the wall all the way down to right there, curve it and then over. So gonna have a total of one connection two connections and three connections. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, he likes the old cars. All right, so with that, let's go check out the 58 quick and let's get on the road. Well, I shouldn't say we're gonna leave tonight because it's now about like, what, five o'clock, but tomorrow we're gonna leave. But yeah, this car is cool. I like these 58s. Not as much as the 59s, but they're a close second. It's got a kick-ass roof line to it, the triple taillights in the back. Even though she's rough, the guy that's gonna be getting it, he's pretty good at what he does. So I have no doubt in my mind that this old 58 will come back to life with the big meats in the back though. God dang, what a good looking car. All right, well let's go inside, get some sleep and we'll hit the road tomorrow morning. All right, so it's a drop off day for the 58 here. I'm with uh, the new owner, Derek. We're gonna get his thoughts on the car. It's a beautiful day, the snow's melting, hardly any winds. I'm gonna pass the mic over to Derek. And uh, Derek, what's your plans? What's your plans for this car, buddy? Just get it restored back to what was original, the black with the white top, stock interior. Got a 348 to drop in it. Automatic and or three speed? Automatic. Just well, wanted one for a long time. I remember, I think it was 2010, I was going to the Oh, what was it? Car show at the event center here in town, and I seen one in my rear view, mit, rear view mirror. I was like, yeah. man, that stuck with me ever since then. I was like, I gotta have one. Gotta have a '58. We made it happen today. All right, well, let's uh, let's get the tractor. Let's get it loaded and uh, get you get you on your way. All right. Yeah, here's the here's the donor for the Impala. We hate to see it, but you can't save them all. That's the that's the saying we've learned today. The two-door post, pretty pretty solid car. I mean, needs a little bit of work in the floors, but not too bad. The Biscayne in 58 was actually like the middle tier, um, you know, with the chrome trim here. The Biscayne was above the Del Rey, which the Del Rey was the lowest um, model. And then the Biscayne 
took over as the bottom of the barrel in 1959. All right, so here's my, uh, my find of the day. It's a 65 Chevy C10, two-wheel drive, six-cylinder, three-speed. Came out of Kansas as a farm truck. And supposedly it runs and drives. Well, I don't know about drives, but runs. I trust the guy I get it from, though. So if he tells me it's good, it's good. A little bit of rust in the tailgate here. And not much for a bed. But a pretty cool truck, nonetheless. Nice patina to it. That door doesn't open. We get the hood open here in a second. <laughs> Keys are still in it. And fun fact, I didn't know that, but the VIN is on top of the uh, the pillar. Engine is a six cylinder with HEI. And I can turn the motor by hand. So I'm sure we'll be driving this one tomorrow. All right, John, you ready to load her up? Yep. Here we go. How's that look? Yeah. Oh wait, let me. All right, my foot's out. It's in first. Is it? Now, once it tips, it'll be straight. It'll straighten it out. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're uh, we're back in Iowa. It's 5:45. Sun's going down. Moon, full moon tonight here. And uh, Mikey, where's your air? Or your AC vent? So we found some goodies in uh, in one of these cars here today. We got the single 63-64 AC vent. Mikey's got one, so that completes his pair. And then I got a 60 uh, a 64 Impala steering wheel because all my friends uh, who know me know I love steering wheels. So got that and then got the truck behind us. I uh, got about another hour and a half of driving here to, to get home. So we'll be driving in the dark, but not too bad anyways. Doing 70, what, 7... Better kick it into fifth gear. Don't want to blow the transmission out of this thing. Again. Yeah, again. So yeah, just gonna get home and then we'll check this thing out. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get too dark where we can't see. Actually, that's okay because I've got a, I've got a light that uh, Hyperlight sent me that I want to show you guys. It's uh, it's pretty freaking cool. So when we get home here, I'll I'll show you guys and demonstrate it on this truck in the pitch dark. All right, guys. So uh, did not get home before dark last night. Did not get home before dark tonight from work. And it actually works out because I want to show you guys, first of all, the truck looks awesome in this uh, in this light here from the building. But I got a light sent to me from a company named Hyperlight. And this thing is impressive. I've got to show you guys in the absolute darkness out here how well this light works. So let me go grab it here and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. All right, so this here is the Hyperlight. And I make a few variations of it. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Make a 60, 80, 100, 120 watt. Yeah. You like the light? Yeah. So this is the 120. This is the biggest one they make. Um, they kind of told me it was like a shop, like a, like a work light. Really, I think it's more or less just, I mean, it's more for like hanging like that. Also has a plug in here so you can string them. You know, see so one like three or four, you could string them across there. But nonetheless, I mean, it is impressive how much light this thing puts off. Now, honestly, it's probably too good to be like a portable work light. It's probably, like I said, better suited for like above um, in the ceiling or whatnot, but these are LEDs, so they don't get super hot, um, you know, so no risk of, really, really no risk of fire um, if you're like under a car or something like that. But I'm gonna plug this thing in here and show you guys outside how, how good this thing works. So this thing is plugged in. I, I actually cannot look at it directly. Like it's gonna blind me here. It is that bright, um, 
but imagine this light you know you're working on your pickup out here in the middle of the night roll this thing under there you know something like that then when you're working on top of the engine i mean it gives you so much light and i've been looking for a light like this for a while that is that bright does not get hot and you can kind of put it wherever you want to you know like on this truck over here if i was working on the engine at night you know especially like during the summertime it's dark you put this light underneath and it gives you all the light coming up from the bottom hell of a nice light well worth the price really nice quality if you guys want to get one for yourself there's like i said there's four variations the 60 80 100 and 120 watt this is the 120 i love this thing this is awesome thank you to hyperlight for sending it to me and if you just want to get one yourself i'll put a link down below in the description Wait. oh boy he likes the microphone all right guys well, if you enjoyed the video today or you like felix make sure to leave a thumbs up uh comment what you think you would do with the truck if you had it what would you do with it buddy He'd probably just sleep in it and hunt mice. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as I am always finding old cool stuff and uh, stick around for my finds. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan. That's Felix. Felix the cat, the wonderful, wonderful cat. And uh, I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching.